Are you tired of watching creators like Brixy, uh, New Brickerton, Mr. Bookie Boo, Emma Soros, and loving their cities, but not being able to perfectly recreate that yourself? Um, today, I think I'm out of the solution for you. Here I have the fire station modular. You can't see the whole thing yet. And we're going to be reviewing this today through the build process and the finished product and see if it's worth your money. So let's get straight into it. Today, we are going to build. Let's just find it real quick. Fire station modular. This is one of the rarest modulars, as you may know, if you're into that. However, today, this is all fake Lego. This is all from AliExpress. Um, I'm trying it out, my first time trying AliExpress. There's not much more to say, then let's get straight into it. Okay, so we have now sorted the first bag. Um, they were tagged, so if you see there, um, that was number two. There's one and two, that's all you get. Um, so there is a lot of pieces right now on the table. This has been really hard to sort. Straight away, minifigures, heads look a bit funky, but we're not here for the minifigures, we're here for the set. So... Yeah, I just thought I'd update now the sorting is done. Um, it was pretty straightforward. It was all in that big bag for the fire department. So it was separate, which is good, um, nice and easy. And yeah, I mean, we're pretty much good to just get into the build now. So let's do it. <music> Okay, so the first part of the build is done. Um, we have a little mini like fire engine, which is quite nice. The minifigures, you could tell they're fake, but they're actually good quality for what they are. Um, I'm not unhappy with them at all. Um, and it's basically what I was expecting. The actual build has felt great so far. It's hard to distinguish from Lego, and I'm happy with it. I think this looks great. Um, the only problem is this. Bends, it's meant to be straight on the set, but it actually doesn't make a big difference and um, it's a bit of a nicer look depending on how you look at it. Look at the back, um, yeah, pretty standard, a few little details, but nothing major. And yeah, honestly, nice set. Took me about an hour to do this uh, because there's so many pieces out, but I like it. And yeah, let's continue with the build. Okay, so this is on two different base plates. Now, that's not a problem. I think the actual set is like that. But it's starting to bend upwards in the corners ever so slightly. More so on this side where there's actually place, um, bricks been built. You can see a very clear gap, which obviously isn't ideal. Now, this wouldn't concern me as much. But this is my other fake modular set that I've got before. I'm not going to review on this, but I might consider it in the future. Let me just move these off. And you can see there's a clear gap here. And this has annoyed me for weeks now. And I really want to avoid this. Now, I don't actually have any Lego, Lego branded base plates. Um, they're really expensive. But I did order this. One, it is a slightly different color of gray, but this is made to be a base plate. Um, and the other ones, I feel like they're almost just there as part of the build. Attention has been poured into them. I think 
even though this is also fake, that this is a better chance of being um, more sturdy. And that's what I'm looking for. Because if I was to make a build and then it be curved up on all four sides, I'd be really upset because this is going to take a lot of time and, I'd, and I want it to look great. So I think I'm going to switch it over now and see if it's worth it. So that's what I'm going to go doing forward. <laughs> So, bag one is completed. You've already seen the fire truck that comes with this little dog. And we've still got two more minifigures that we've not put down. But the first floor is done. So far, the set is great. I mean, we've got loads of detail, obviously, that Lego have designed. That's all Lego's credit. And, I mean, it's a great modular anyway. I'm sure everyone knows that, which is why I'm reviewing it. But in terms of is the fake actually a good quality i'd say so far it has been um is everything completely perfect um no but i'd say it's as close as you can get um i'm probably being over worried with the base plate ever so slightly coming up because any normal base plate would do that but the bricks and everything are perfect quality and to be honest i can't really tell the difference between lego the only thing that is a bit different is these of holding them in that's my only problem and um, they're not as tight as lego would be but honestly apart from that this is completely um like what, what i think I'm, what well what i know a modular is like building built a few modulars real and this is pretty much identical in terms of quality um maybe not everyone will agree with me who's built this but in terms of look i can't really tell i know some people you know obviously the big one is looking at lego printed but if you don't care about one little lego print on your bricks then this is perfect quality i mean it looks the exact same it looks great I'm really happy with it so far and honestly it's been great um still have bag two to do and to actually finish off the build but yeah the actual modular so far has been really good I'm really impressed <laughs> Quick look on the inside of the second floor here. Um, obviously, Lego itself haven't designed this to like it's one of the earlier modulars, so the actual interior design won't be at its best. But um, this manages to recapture it perfectly and impre an impressive style. Um, it all looks really great. I think what they've done, like with a fire pole, really comes out nice. Um, this works for me, it really does. It just looks great in every way. And I am really impressed, yeah. Okay, so the build is now done. And I've just got to say, this looks great. Um, obviously I haven't seen the actual Lego version of this in real life or built it, but this felt exactly like how a Lego product would feel. Every step of the way um, was exactly how I expected it to be. I mean, this looks great. All the interior design is all matched up like how I would think. Obviously, we've seen the first floor, but the second floor, um, 
I don't know if you, there's a lot of minifigure in there. Honestly, it all comes out great. All the details were easy uh, to do. Even on the ceiling here, all easy to construct. Felt like Lego. Doesn't quite have that Lego click, but sometimes I feel like Lego itself doesn't have that click that it's most famous for. Um, but honestly, this set just is perfect. I got loads of missing pieces, well, not missing pieces, but spare pieces. That was obviously the original base plate it should have came on. Um, got a few spare hands there, which was a little bit strange. But yeah, like I am so impressed on this build that it's hard to believe. Um, the instructions were pretty clear. The only problem with the instructions is sometimes the colors can be a bit off. So I'll just show you this. Um, so sometimes that would look like a dark gray almost, but that's all black. Um, sometimes just stuff like that was a bit hard to tell apart at times. And that is the dark gray um, compared to the black. So not major differences and a bit hard to tell. But if you download the Lego instructions online, that's not a problem anyway. But I just like to use the uh, instructions given to me. But yeah, wow. I mean, just looking at that from here, I, I wouldn't be able to tell that was not a real Lego set to be honest. I think it looks um I think it looks great. And I'm really impressed with this and I'm really excited to build the Palace Cinema. And I have another one coming on the way. So we'll review that one too. But that'll be a surprise for now. Um But yeah, honestly, really impressed. Um I wanna start keeping the videos a little bit shorter. I feel like I've been rambling on too long. But everything about this is perfect. And if you are looking to start your own Lego City, um, then I'd completely recommend this. So thanks so much for watching. Um, this has been the review of the Firehouse. And yeah. This is Blifted Brick Certified. It's worth the money. It's about 40 quid for this plus the uh, shipping. So it came out to about 60. But 100% worth it in my opinion. Um, comes out looking absolutely amazing. And yeah.